Hey guys, it's Mr. Here. Today we're playing the game called A Life a, a Day in the Life of a Slice of Bread. A Day in the Life of a Slice of Bread. A Day in the Life of a Slice of Bread. That's hard to say. <laughs> Anyways, so we're gonna get right in. You I don't know much about the game. Pain in your side. Oh no! I just stabbed you with a knife. Okay, <laughs> that game got right right into it. It turns out that apparently someone did just stab you with a knife. Dang! It seems that you're a piece of bread. You're completely fine with this. <laughs> I'm completely just fine then, with this. A thought hit you. <laughs> bread is not supposed to be aware that it's red because it's red. Yes, yes, it is. Um, what would I do? Hop away off to freedom! I realized that I was taken away from my entire family and my loaf. <laughs> or accept my fate. I'm gonna realize that I was taken away from my entire family. My loaf. If you actually had a face, you'd be sadly whispering Mama. to your loaf and crying yourself a river. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Grow a face. What? Wow, you actually did it. <laughs> what? This game's you fun. You successfully whisper a soft mama into your loaf's imaginary ear and begin to weep. You finish weeping soon after. Eat myself out of existence because I'm so sad about my loaf. <laughs> you consume your entire body, a newly acquired face, all in one big chomp. What? Unfortunately, this entire break in physics somehow is able to create a black hole, eventually sucking up all of the universe. Holy cow! <laughs> that includes your loaf. Yeah. Are you happy with yourself? Yes, I am. You were a piece of bread that was lucky enough to be given life by some unknown god. But instead of becoming famous or going on bread adventures, you cried about your loaf and then ate all of the universe. Yep. I just want you to know that your loaf wouldn't want this. <laughs> the end. <laughs> I think I found the in the different uh, background to that. I'm gonna bring down the music volume though, because narrator isn't quite loud enough. All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, so that's one ending, I guess. That was actually really cool. All right, you feel try this again. burning pain in your side, like someone just stabbed you with a knife. Yes. It turns out that apparently someone did just stab you with a knife. It seems that you're a piece of bread. Yes, yes, you're I am. Completely fine with this. I am completely fine with this. But just then, a thought hit you. Bread is not supposed to be aware that it's bread. Because it's bread! True. This sure is a crummy situation. Yes, it is. What will you do? Um, I'm going to accept my fate. It's depressing that you just throw your life away like that. Nonetheless, the person that has taken you away from your loving loaf picks you up and carries you to the toaster. Okay. But the last, it isn't yet plugged in. You realize this diversion might just give you enough time to run away and save yourself. How do you feel about this? Terrible. I wish the person would hurry up and burn me alive already. <laughs> oh, I love the humor of this game. I'm feeling... Uh, I'm feeling some type of way. Hmm... This one. Your final thought, as the person takes their time plugging in the toaster, is of the worst possible pun in existence. <laughs> but you're toast. Oh! Your life slowly fades from the eyes that you don't have, because you're bread. As you're burned inside this eternal pastry hell. Oh my goodness. The end. <laughs> All right, let's try again. It turns out, it seems you're... All right, to where we were. Just then, Brett, this sure is... What will you... What will I do this time? I'm going to hop away and go with freedom. You go. Independence for bread must and will be established. And it all starts with you. Okay. Starting off your grand escape with a poorly executed backflip, you make it onto level ground. Yay. 
Go left or go right? I'm gonna go left because there's Carefully no touch choosing there. to hop to the left in hopes of escaping, you find yourself facing an open door. You feel small compared to the large opening in the wall that leads to your freedom but at the same time excited by all the new opportunities you now have. Yep. With a few more hops, you make it to the outside world. Where will you go first? Um, <laughs> screw this, man. I'm going back inside. <laughs> uh, what about a swanky looking hot... What about that swanky looking hot dog cart? You there we go. You make way to the swankiest hot dog cart in town. <laughs> operated by an swankiest. even equally swanky looking person who looks to be bent over and asleep. Their chin resting on the palm of their hand. Snoozing face inches close to falling on the scalding hot surface of the cart. Okay, is it just me or who uses the word swanky? <laughs> swankiest? That's a really interesting word. <laughs> Excuse me, madam. Wake up. <laughs> You're about to burn alive. <laughs> Excuse me, sir. Wake up. You're about to burn alive. Wait, is this a sir or ma'am? I don't know. This person looks to be... Uh... Ang... Ang... An... Andogrinous. <laughs> I can't read that word. So I screamed to warn them. I don't say anything. Let them burn. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Um He automatically stands up straight, his eyes wide and a confused expression to match. Okay. He quickly realizes the situation he was in and that you just saved him from a hell of a medical bill. And for sure. He picks you up and holds you up in the air. Certainly not unlike how that monkey picked up Simba in The Lion King. <laughs> he praises you endlessly for saving his face. Mentioning somewhere in the word vomit that his name is Alexander. What? So what now? Alexander and I now have a wonderful relationship and I work with him at a hot dog cart. I leave abruptly after his experience. I don't even talk to this person anymore. <laughs> Alexander and I become great friends and attend bowling tournaments every weekend as a team. And, you know, other friends, things like that. Hmm, this is a very interesting game. I did not expect all of this in this game, but just to start. You get to know Alexander though. better and eventually ask him to go on a date. To which he replies, yes. You two hit okay. off famously and you end up working with him at the hot dog cart. Ending this small adventure on a good note. Give yourself a pat on the back, my friend. You've earned it. What kind of guy dates bread? <laughs> a guy that can't get anything from anyone, that's for sure. Yay, I got the good ending, I, I think. It's a, I'm going to skip through and see what else I can do. All right. Just this so I'm going to first uh, realize that I was taken away from my entire family and my love. Because I want to get my face. If you actually had a face, you'd be sadly whispering Mama. Mama to your loaf and crying yourself a river. Grow a face! Wow, you actually did it! You successfully whisper a soft Mama into your loaf's imaginary ear and begin to weep. You finish weeping soon after. I can cry some more. You're about to start bawling your eyes out when a thought occurs. You could just stop being a big baby and suck it up. <laughs> Are you going to go through with this idea? No, how could I? You know what? I think I will. Oh, the power to you. You end up becoming a respectable citizen in society, moving in with a suitable human partner, getting a rescue pit bull named Rousey, and landing a job at a plumbing company. What? <laughs> sure, those stupid skater kids always call you Mario, but are they eating out at fancy restaurants once every week? Possibly, but that means absolutely nothing to you as you went from a piece of bread to a wonderful spouse and a successful plumber. <laughs> what? <laughs> and that's all that matters. Apparently, that's all that matters. 
<laughs> what? Okay, that was interesting. I'm gonna go back and see what else I got here. It's your but just this. Okay, I'm gonna go back to freedom. I'm gonna go right this time, though. It appears that the odds are not in your favor, <laughs> as your torturer recaptures you in their gigantic grip and sticks you back in the toaster where you belong. Oh, well, shoot, that was a bad idea. Nice job there, Texas. Thanks. Because <laughs> then don't go right, go left. You feel a, it's a, it's a, your com but just British. What we you go starting. Go yeah, left. You, you feel small with a few more. <laughs> Screw this, man. Go back inside. I'm like, <laughs> I think it's funny. You make your way to the swankiest hot dog cart in town. Operated by an even equally swanky looking person who looks to be bent over and asleep, their chin resting on the palm of their hand, snoozing face inches close to falling on the scalding hot surface of the cart. I'm gonna let them burn this time just for the fun of it. I say to, I don't say anything and let them burn. <laughs> their eyes open slowly, and their peaceful expression turns into one of panic. I mean, their face was just about to get burned by a hot dog cart. <laughs> they look at you accusingly for not warning them and crush you under their shoe, throwing a hmm <laughs> in there for emphasis. You can't help but realize that you sort of deserved it. <laughs> I guess being a jerk just doesn't work out sometimes. Oh, I like that ending. That's a funny ending. All right, let's see here. You feel it turns your co but just br this shoe. You start. Care. You feel. You. All right. So this time, I'm going to say. Uh, Indigorous. I think I say androgynous. However, you say that word. I'm gonna wake. Uh, I'm gonna say, ma'am. No, I'm gonna. I'm gonna say this. Wake ah! me. They automatically stand up straight, their eyes wide, and a confused expression to match. They quickly realize the situation they were in, and that you just saved them from a hell of a medical bill. I love that! They pick you up and hold you. They pray. Right, it's so the same now? thing, but I'm going to leave this time. You give a plentiful amount of your welcomes before taking your leave, making your way towards the forest. Okay! A wide range of trees intrigues you. And you conclude that you could make your home there. Fast Ooh. forward a few years, and you've built a slice of bread-sized cottage beside a river, where you use your body as bait for fish, and then wrestle them so you can later cook them and eat them. What? <laughs> of course, you never actually do eat them, because, well, you know, you're a slice of bread. But it's the thought that counts. Man, of course. life in the wilderness sure is intense, but you wouldn't have it any other way. What? <laughs> I like that ending. I wonder if there's any other endings. I'm just going to double check to see if I can find any here. You're but just British. That's depressed. Nonetheless, the person. But the la you. You're feeling a bit regretful. Okay. Being the only self aware slice of bread on the planet and just throwing it all away. Lucky for you, the person that picked you up has now set you down. And he's fumbling around with the toaster plug, giving you okay. another chance. Would you like to try and make something of your life? Eh, sure, fine. Oh, okay, so that's, that would just resets me back to this. Okay. Um. Yep. Yeah. Alright, so I think I've done all of them. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. So thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a double thumbs up down below if you like to see. Uh, this game's really fun. This game was on itch.io and <laughs> it's it's really interesting. I like the whole like it's got a lot of story to it. I like the narrator. I didn't expect a narrator to this, but it just it's really fun to, to play around with and have fun with. So <laughs> I'm gonna hop You've my way to freedom. Starting uh, and go right back into his hand. It appears. Nice job there, Texas. Nice job there, Texas. <laughs> but anyways. 
Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs>